Hello Aries, welcome to your reading for the month of July of 2023. Let's see what we have for Aries for July of 2023. A card flipped right up out of the deck here. So we've got the Four of Cups. Some of you might be feeling a little bit bored and stuck in a rut at the moment. Like everything feels like same old, same old kind of energy and you're looking to make a change. We all get bored from time to time. Um, if you have a person on your mind, this person could be viewing you as a missed opportunity also. Like maybe they took you for granted. Things got, they got too complacent because you got into like a routine, don't know what they got till it's gone kind of vibes. And so right out of the bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance card. Some of you could be dealing with someone with heavy Sagittarius placements in their chart. Um, and I think one of your challenges at this moment is to find the balance between boredom yet having security, but also inviting enough excitement into your life, but keeping it balanced where you're not overspending, you're not living on the edge too much. That might be your biggest challenge right now. Maybe there was a mess financially and you're trying to clean it up at the moment. Yeah, with that Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, that does possibly talk about slow starts or not so great starts to a financial situation. It's never too late to fix it though, if that's what you're dealing with. And we've got the Nine of Wands in the reverse, so you may have had your guard up um, and putting up a fight involving some type of situation because you weren't trusting it and you've recently learned enough about it to let your guard down. And in your very recent past, it looks like there was a like a tough decision to be made and you were at a standstill and ultimately the choice that you made, although it's slow moving energy with those pentacles, you've got the nine of cups. So that looks like emotional fulfillment and learning how to be happy on your own. Um, in order to be happy with someone else, they always say, you know, you want to be emotionally independent first. Nobody has to be all the way a thousand percent healed. All We all have baggage, um, but maybe there was some healing that you wanted to do. Um, maybe the person that's on your mind with maybe feeling complacent with each other. You both needed that time apart to both know what it feels like to feel emotionally independent from one another. Like, they grow on their own terms, you grow alongside with each other, you know, and then you bring it all together versus either one of you being dependent on the other person. Like, maybe they were dependent on you to help heal what was broken in them, and they didn't want to do the work for themselves. And, let's see, you almost kind of feel like this person wasted your time, and you're grieving the loss of the breakup, um, and although you're grieving that loss at the moment and, you know, you're bummed out about it, there's five cups, three of them are knocked over and there's two of them that are still standing. So that's symbolic where you realize that there was a loss, but you're also counting your blessings for what you really do have. Maybe some of your friends and your family really showed up for you at this time. And we've got the King of Wands in the reverse, along with the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So. I feel like you've been living a more calm, peaceful life and getting away from people that maybe had a temper or they'd blow up over something stupid, you know, and they were allowed to act like a player, but oh no, if you dare blinked wrong, they would accuse you of what they're guilty of. And because you've released this, you're coming out of those sleepless nights with having all this anxiety. The Nine of Swords in the reverse talks about healing from a situation that was causing you a lot of grief and anxiety. 
so what's the future actions of Ares person? If this is your story, take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have going on for the future actions of Ares person? And if it doesn't make sense, it's not your story. Also, check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Sometimes your sun sign doesn't always line up, but, you know, your moon sign will, or maybe your rising sign. And the future actions of Aries person? We've got the death card. So... The death card represents transformation and big changes, so you deciding to cut ties with this person is forcing them to change, you know, because maybe they took you for granted, and nobody knows how much you do until you stop doing it. You stop giving energy to this connection because it wasn't, it was out of balance. You were feeling like it was very one-sided and you were putting in a lot of work and this person was taking you for granted. You leaving is forcing them to transform. Whether it's changing for the better where maybe they might learn a few things and come back and they might be healed, you know, or they might be forced to make changes and become more independent because they don't have a choice and you may decide not to take them back. You know, you don't have to take this person back if you feel like it's draining you. And what else do we have for future actions? Mm, we've got the Six of Swords. So that's the card of moving on. Um, so maybe this person may be moving on from this situation. Um, my feeling is, is because they couldn't have their way. You wouldn't let them walk all over you anymore, and you were tired of being a doormat. You pulled back your energy, and now they don't have a choice but to move on and either learn how to be independent themselves, or they'll just find somebody else to latch on to that can wipe their booty for them, you know what I mean? What's the advice for my Aries? Can I get some advice for my Aries? Advice for Aries for July of 2023. What is the advice for my Aries? So we've got the Fool card. Yeah, you're ready to dive headfirst into these new beginnings and whatever it was that's on your mind. So the Fool card talks about taking that leap of faith, diving headfirst into something, um, throwing your hands up to the universe and trusting. So. If you've been thinking about a new hobby, going on a new trip, maybe you want to go back to school for something different. Something that you've been thinking of doing where you didn't feel like you could do it as easily because you were too worried about your person and taking care of them. Now it's time to take care of yourself, Aries. So whatever new endeavor that you had on your mind, it's giving you the green light to go ahead and take that leap of faith. What else for advice? Ooh, I love it! You got the Ten of Cups! That's the card of emotional fulfillment. That is like the ultimate happily ever after card. It could even mean finding your soulmate and oftentimes marriage. Now, if this isn't talking about a new person coming your way that maybe you meet through this new endeavor somehow, this could be talking about self-love where you'll feel emotionally fulfilled you know, without having to feel like you have to be with anyone. That does happen. And usually when your person comes in, it's when you're emotionally mostly fulfilled and you're not even thinking about it. You know, oftentimes people meet them unexpectedly. So, you know, it sounds very cliche to say, make sure you're loving yourself, you know, but it is true. You have to appreciate you and you know your worth and what you bring to the table. And it kind of helps you set your standards where you stay firm to your boundaries. If somebody's not aligning with you, you're able to let it go quicker because this past person or person you're currently letting go, they were a lesson. So what outcome can I get for my Aries? 
I'll come for Aries for either July of 2023 or whatever it is that changes in July of 2023. What is the ultimate end result? And remember, you can change your fate just because the cards told you something's gonna happen. All it is is verifying your own intuition. And if you don't like something, you know, you have the power to figure out what it takes to change the situation. You can't change all things, you know, let go of what you can't control, but the things you can control, you know, you've got the power within yourself. Alright, so two cards flipped up out of the deck. So, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this person that was on your mind that took you for granted, I don't think you're gonna talk to him anymore. I don't think you're gonna hear from them anytime soon or ever, mostly by your choice. You're making a head over heart decision and deciding to cut it off with them. They're not, it's not worth it anymore. And then we've got the nine, six of pentacles in the reverse. So that talks about greed, it talks about entitlement. So if you were wondering, is this person gonna change the original one that uh, we're talking about here? No. <laughs> they might try to put on a show like, oh, I've learned my lesson, I took you for granted, and I'm changed, and yada yada, and they might temporarily seem like they're treating you better. No. They're not going to change in this situation, so if you decided to let this go, you made the right choice, Aries. Alright, I hope that answered some questions, and take what resonates and leave the rest. Have a great rest of your weekend, Aries, and thank you for watching!